I can't tell you how pleased I am to be out here at the site of the new precinct, the new city, which from today onwards uh, will be known as Bradfield. Uh, for, many, for many long months and years, we've been calling the precinct around the new Nancy Bird, Birdwater Airport uh, the Aerotropolis until we named it. But after community consultation and endorsement by the government panel, I'm very pleased that this core of the city that we're building will be called Bradfield in honour of that outstanding engineer who shaped much of Sydney's transport network, who had the vision uh, and also the carry through regarding the Sydney Harbour Bridge and who's inspired generations of engineers. It is very fitting that the first 22nd century uh, city of this great state and great nation should be named Bradfield. Uh, it's hard to imagine, but these paddocks that we're standing in today will become uh, the city of the future. Buildings housing workers from all across the state and nation in advanced manufacturing, logistics, agribusiness, uh, building those jobs for the future. And today's vision will become action in the years ahead. And I can't be more pleased about that. As we're going through a difficult time in our state, it's important for us to plan for the future. And prior to COVID, we'd already signed memorandums of understanding of nearly 20 organisations locally and around the world who've already demonstrated their interest to set up shop here. And I want to acknowledge everybody who shared in the New South Wales Government's vision. When the Greater Sydney Commission came to us with a proposal to have three cities within our great city of Sydney, three main cities of Sydney, Parramatta and this third city, it was just a vision and now it's becoming a reality. So when people are standing in Parramatta, they won't be looking east for the best jobs in the future, they'll be looking here. They'll be looking at these new jobs that are going to be created in the next year's to come and I couldn't be more pleased about that. Our city is growing, uh, we'll be competing around the world for the best jobs and what better place than right here in Western Sydney to be able to create this great new city. Today I'm joined by Minister Ayres, the Minister for Western Sydney, the Minister in charge of making sure this aerotropolis becomes a reality, the city of Bradfield taking shape and I also want to acknowledge the grandson of John Bradfield, Jim Bradfield who's here today, uh, to uh, speak about uh, his grandfather's vision, but also the proud legacy that we'll be leaving successive generations uh, in naming this city here today. But uh, today uh, is a new journey for us. Uh, whilst we've been planning for this great new city, a city that, that will create 200,000 brand new jobs in the years ahead, a city which will house workers and people from locally, but also from all places of the world who want to come and contribute to the, to the enormous inroads that will be made here. And whether it's through research and development or through advanced manufacturing, the jobs of the future we may not have even heard about will be established right here in the core of the new, new airport city. Uh, the government is planning and working already in delivering the roads and the transport networks around this community. And of course, in the years ahead, uh, the jobs here will be taking shape as well. 